Hi everyone, welcome back and thanks for watching Vixer. Here we are, another case. I'm gonna design five restorations for this upper jaw for this patient. Uh, the difference in this video is that I'm gonna show you how to uh, import and align a face scan if possible. Actually, I always ask the dentists that I work with to uh, send me the face scan if possible and also the 2D image from the patient. The 2D image I explained in uh, a separate video, a previous video, I think. Uh, you can find it in the channel. Uh, but this time uh, we are going to import a face scan, align it with the TC scan that we have here and see how we are going to use this face scan to uh, complete the design. Actually, because it's uh, the, the front teeth here in this case, it's really advantages. So let's finish the margin lines. It's not too sharp, so it takes some time to find the proper outline. Sometimes it's just one click enough, but in this case, I see that more effort is needed. Okay, I'm almost done. Yeah, that's it. Okay, here are the crown bottoms. I'm gonna do some things about gap and undercuts. Looks good. Now we are going, going to start the tooth placement. Adjust them a little bit. Use from the lateral here. And always use the hotkeys to design faster and smoother. I also explained hotkeys in a different video. This roll using hotkeys, make it a little bit so resize it a little bit. I always use the grids to make sure for the symmetry and also the length of the teeth because it's a perfect guide for front teeth. So here we go with the canine. Okay, almost there.
So everything, everything I'm doing here is the uh, tap simple, no chain mode here because it's not needed actually. Okay, let's go to the expert mode, tools, and what I'm going to do is to add remove mesh and import the face scan that I got from the dentist. So here we are, this is the face scan that we are going to work with. Now it's time to align this mesh with the previous one that is my uh, actually upper jaw. What I need to do is to choose some points almost exactly the same in both mesh so software can easily match these two meshes without the anatomic shape it's easier align mesh first point I'm gonna choose is on the tip of the canine here and also on the upper jaw and a second point on the let's say premolar and on the other side also I need to choose a couple of points let's see yeah tip of the canine is a good one also on this and maybe also premolar yeah and also on the premolar okay so perform alignment and what I see is a good match here thanks to the dentist that gave me a good face scan it's with a lot of details so I can easily match these two without errors and work with it easily because it's really important to have a good scan otherwise it's also almost impossible to match these two together and it's useless and sometimes also it leads to mistakes if it's not matched correctly so with this face scan now I can continue the design using it and let's say finish the tooth placement Yes, that's a good one. Uh, it's also a good guide for the midline. I can adjust it with the face scan. Let's go further and now in the freeforming tab, let's do the final adjustments. I'm gonna finish this design and uh, at the end of this design, I'm gonna also design the model. Uh, so uh, keep watching please. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, like always, just stay tuned. Thanks for watching.